Lord, yes, Lord, this is amazing. This is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Real Madrid just won it. Real Madrid just won it. What a beautiful time to be alive. What a beautiful time to be alive. It is... <sighs> I, I don't I can't even believe how I'm feeling. I can't even describe how I'm feeling right now. Ladies and gentlemen, what a day, what a day. Both English teams have been knocked out. No, my mommy. Hell yeah, Hala Madrid. Goodbye and good night, city scumbags. <laughs> 15 and counting. Adios. Yo, this is amazing. Luen, shout out to you for being here. Fifth spot is gone for Premier League teams. It doesn't matter. We're happy. We're happy that at least Manchiti does not get through. I would have been so, so sad if that was the case. You know, let me welcome Mark in here and say, Mark, bro, you here? <laughs> Uh, yes. Yo. Uh. Right. No, Brian, yeah, got dumped by uh, Roma, by Lukaku. <laughs> day. It's a good it's day because Manchester is red. <laughs> yes. Yes, Manchester is red. And, you know, in, in Setswana, they say this thing that... Uh, is when when you say that you're feeling good and happy, you say your heart is white. <laughs> like today, <laughs> I'm so so glad. I'm so so glad, guys. What a what a day! What a day! What a day! Ooh. But, <laughs> For me, right? Uh, let me see. Yeah. Let me adjust this thing here. Yeah. Let me adjust this thing properly. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy. Go. I know it's the English, like what um, Jabez, big up Jabez, is saying PSG, Bayern, Real, and Dortmund, no English team in the semifinals, right? Yeah. I know, for, but I've said it before. Whoever can make top four, forget about Champions League. Just go to just go to Europa League, right? Let's not do yeah. this thing where we're like, okay, we have to make... I know there's, a, there's an opportunity for us to actually get the fifth position. Get If you can't, get it, but... It's not happening this season, so whatever. It, like someone was telling me the other day, if they were saying if West Ham become fifth and win the Europa League, I'm like, yo, that's too much to be thinking for United, bro. United don't deserve to go to the, the Europa League if they don't. If they don't finish sixth or fifth, then they should just stay where bro, they belong. In Europa, either way, once you beat Coventry, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I was saying with that permutation that somebody was trying to pull up the other time, right? With the West Ham and, thing, I'm like, and you. football is is based on the results, not what you deserve. If you get the points, you deserve it. The end. All last we are saying the I've same team. thing, bro. We are saying the same thing. If they no, don't no, make no, the... in different ways, no, we we are saying the same thing in different ways. It's the same thing. There are separate ways to skin a cat or skin a rabbit, right? Mm. So it's the same thing. If you don't make the court, you don't make the court. Exactly. Enough of Enough of this, oh, we... No, I'm not. I'm not for it. Like, <laughs> Let's start with Bayern, guys. I know I know. we just came off of this one. Bayern, Munich, Arsenal. Like, I thought they said pray for... I thought they said pray for Bayern today, bro. Who? That's, that's precisely what I was like going to bring up, bro. Pray like, for Bayern. You see, and they the actually problem. prayed for Bayern. They prayed... So <laughs> their prayers work. They prayed for Bayern. They really know the injury money, you know, bro. Real prayers. They didn't know the type of prayer they were praying. They were saying, pray for Bayern, pray for Bayern. And they don't know. The football gods are listening. You're praying, we're answering. So what kind of prayer were you praying? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Foden for what? 
Food and for who? <laughs> Get out of here Get with that food here, and man, talk, bro. Man, man, man. <laughs> but but like the thing about it for me, the Arsenal fan base is is really that's the problem. It's like the confidence and delusion that they have is the one that we have to call out and say, you guys, you had pretty much the best Arsenal team in years. You couldn't just. Dis- Pose the worst buy-in team in years, you know, or worst performing buy-in team in years because this is what eleven. Uh, they had won the Bundesliga eleven times and then they couldn't. And now look at that, Arsenal. You guys, uh, it was a good run though. It was a good run. I don't want to just bash them For and me, say you know you they. Could look, they you, could, you could you could look at the thing right, and you could actually yeah. tell there's a lot of inexperience in that team. Now, the first leg, right? a lot of people were saying, oh, that was a foul. There was this debate about, was it a penalty on, on Saka or not? But one thing mm-hmm. people feel to understand it was if Saka had decided to ground um, Neuer, he would yeah. have scored that goal in the first leg. Yeah. And again today, we saw that they had a free kick in a promising position. Saka decided to take a fast one. That so is, yes, it, it all comes down to it all comes down to um he's a right back. Say again, he's a right back. Which right he's back? not Saka? a he's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only reason he's played for oh, England at right wing is because Greenwood gets suspended. Else, he would have stayed at left back or right back. I mean, why we? Bro. No, I'm just saying that I'm talking about how they lost. For me, the inexperience, the 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 not knowing the stage or the the time of the game, like that that first leg, mm. it was it was peak time, bro. Stay on your feet, see if you can get the goal. Your the goal was gaping in front of you. All you needed to just do, make it make make it make sense in such a way that if the if the goalkeeper comes and have a contact with you, it's the one the referee cannot deny. That was in mm. the first leg. That's gone. The second leg, you had opportunity. I'm not saying you had opportunity to win the game, but if you looked at how they set up in the first half, um, Ateta set up his team not to be not to go all out there, be conservative, see if we can soak up the pressure because we are playing away at uh, at uh, Ayans Arena and Bayern would want to come out. You, they, they maybe probably saw what Dortmund did to um, P- um, Atletico Madrid the other night and like, you know what, we are away. Let's be careful here, right? If we can catch them on the break, nick a goal and come defend, fine. Right? But it ended up not beating that way. The minute, you remember I told you, the minute that goal went in for Bayern, I said, Arsenal are going to come out now. And Bayern, they know what to do. To care, we just go into his Aram football and just shut shut the door. But I'm saying they had, they had one... I'm not going to say it's a big golden opportunity, but they had an opportunity where I felt like if they were just calm and maybe even try to carve out something direct free kick or uh indirect one or try to you know maybe that was lady luck shining on them and say okay i'm giving you something to you all been saying a prayer prayer so i'm giving you something to hold on to right use it but yeah. they were too the experience just showed he played a fast one and referee it was blocked and referee just called the game for me it's again of the inexperience. They've not been to this stage in a while. So, yeah, they will learn their lesson. There's a next season, like Mark said earlier. There's a next season. And we hope that they uh, do one better um, next season. I don't think they will, but we just hope that that will be the case for the Arsenal one. Bayern, kudos to Bayern. They know they did what they needed to do. They, now they have to face... Is it Real Madrid? Question for you guys. Was, was Bayern lucky... To 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 just keep like us to win one zero or did they merit that one zero? Mitch, bro, jump in this conversation to welcome. By the way, I muted you because I was an echo. But when you're speaking, obviously, unmute yourself. All right, let's hear from Much FC while Mitch is sorting out his connection. Poch, are you there? Poch FC, are you there? You are talking, but you are muted. <laughs> I can see that you're talking. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, I muted you again. Sorry. One more try. One more try. And then maybe... Poch. Get out of here, man. <laughs> it's not out of the connection, bro. <laughs> what, what's up with you and Mitch's connections? Oh, boy. All right. <clears throat> So, so my question was, did did the one nil 
was it a merited one nil or is it just did no no uh, no papi that question is you could see from the game you watched the game Bayern wanted to win that game yeah yeah Bayern wanted yeah, to win that game why I ask it. because look at the look at the possession stats mm -hmm. look at look at how both teams had three shots on target mm -hmm. sure Bayern Munich took more shots but it was more or less like three balanced shots on game, yeah yeah more like a mm -hmm. balanced game yeah but, very, very but one person came to play for the win. Both sides came to play for the win. But I think how one side set up was more of, um, okay, we're not going to make the mistake we made at Emirates, right? Um, let's yeah. see. We're playing away. Like I said earlier, we're playing away at home. That's how I feel. Like we're playing away at home. Um, let's be sensible here. Let's not just go guns hold, you know? But you mm -hmm. could see the intention from Bayern from the minute that they want to get the, that early goal. They want to get that goal early enough yeah. so i felt like if they had even gotten that goal early enough that would have put them on the back um burner and maybe arsenal would have like you know what started to go them, right? yeah so maybe that would have opened up the game a little bit but the fact that arsenal were a little bit um cagey and we're trying to close the game give it a close game right Bayern, you could tell Bayern yeah. we're trying to win but Arsenal also did not come to play for a draw. They wanted to win, but their, their style or their tactics, I felt like it was going to be a case of take a one new, uh, a go early and just go sit back. That's that's. I, I, Drex, I really like that you said that because here's the thing: scoring in these games, it's it's also not just about scoring; it's when you score. And I think Kimmich score. scored on the 63rd minute, and that meant like. You know, uh, what thirty more minutes of just now trying to defend a lead, as opposed to like an hour or or, or eighty minutes of defending yep. a lead, yep. and remember, that's a harder game to play. Remember, I said the Man City game in the first half of the extra time. Man City wanted to just score first because yeah. they know if they get that goal, it's pretty yeah. much game over. Because Real Madrid would definitely have to come out, and by so doing, the likes of Doku can run, can get a run, free run behind them, and all of that. Right, so. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's how it, like you said, is when you score. For me, I think Bayern wanted to score early, right? Which Arsenal were preventing that and hoping that they get a goal against the run of play or carve out something and just be like, okay, now we got to go. We have something to hold on to. Let Bayern do the playing. And by so doing, it gives the play into Arsenal's um, and and maybe the likes of Martinelli and Saka would just get free runs behind them. But it didn't happen that way. Um if you even look at the Bayern's goal, it Kimmich had to run from the deep position to get his head yes. on that ball. Yeah, so it's so it, it, it was a cagey game. It was a cagey yeah. game, which I felt like whichever <clears throat> side scored first would win that game. That's what I felt in that game. I don't yeah. really... I feel like her football ahead, man. heritage win today. Yeah. yeah. This is our win. This is our match day for football heritage. And I hate to say I tell man so it. But Arsenal, though, then there was ne in the last decade there was never a team that could maintain any run other than one league. Whether it's the league or the pre or some, they could only maintain it. They could never compete in all on all fronts and maintain, and that is the yeah. biggest problem. And that is the problem that will keep Arsenal back from being great because Mikel Arteta, he young, so he naive, so he still want to try. But what he should do is build, win a league, and then try to compete in a in in the knock in a in a Champions League. Or, I mean, to win them, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, Mark, I get it. No, Papi, what Mark is trying to say is he should no prioritize. Like you want, he wants to. I feel like because for for last season he did throw away the FA Cup and the League Cup to prioritize the league. And uh, and I think it, yeah, the league, right? And the Europa, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, right? But it didn't yeah, work man. out. At the end of the day, he slipped up. Now this season, one would think, okay, you know what? You're in a position of, for the league, right? Um, don't. I felt like that Porto game. You should I just let Porto do their thing and just let Porto get to, and you just focus mainly on the league. By so doing, you know, okay, you have a trophy, you have that confidence boost in terms of we won something. Now gives the player the, the 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 confidence to say, okay, we can do it again. So coming into the next season, then you can start trying to come and build into on the, that. Yeah, and build on that thing. I think that's what Mark is trying to say. Yeah, Before, because um, basically, you. basically, all right, you see, every, every team have its own circumstance, right? And mm -hmm. even, as yeah. far as United is, United is a team. Historically, we built. 
to compete on all fronts, especially in cups. We's a cup team. You understand? So <laughs> when you look at United, United will compete on all fronts and still compete in the league. It's just how we built. It's like City. It's like Liverpool. You know what I mean? History. Mm. History is a serious thing, bro. And certain teams, if you look at Brighton, Brighton gets smashed by every team they play against in Europa this season. Every single team they play, they get they at least lost one game by multiple goals. Even if they come back and win the next the second leg. So it's one of those things where it's just for me. I love to see it, bro. I love when Heritage wins. Because I admit, I admit, Man City is one of the best teams in the world. But for me, there's not the best team in the world. And the best team in the world, for me, is Real Madrid. Because they have the most, they've done it the most, most consistently, year in, year out. And because they didn't win anything last season, don't mean they're down and out. There's Real Madrid. You know what I mean? And in a year where they didn't even perform as great as they normally do, they still managed to win against City. And it just when? shows that how City weaken themselves this season. And I keep telling men that they lose sure. 25 Let, goals. Let's see on, on, on Arsenal Bayern first. We'll come to City. Arsenal, we'll Bayern. Come oh, well, I watched the, the, the ball the game. Madrid City game. Ball so game. My, my Let me talk about ball, ball game. I, yeah. I know you don't throw away cup games. I know, but what we are trying to say is you build on something right i'm not saying true it is now 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 he's come out of the of the champions league at this stage right he's got some winnable games to go in the premier league right now you're out of it because for me i felt like ateta was out of the league cup and the fa cup because he wanted to focus on the league not so much the, the champions league if i felt like he felt wherever it takes him to the champions league then he so be it right but yeah now but what what we are saying is no, the last trophy you won was the FA Cup. That was your maiden um, 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 season with Arsenal in terms of your coaching career, right? But ever since then, you've been showing to the players like you don't really care about those league cups. You just want the league. But there's nothing there tangible for them to hold on to three seasons already gone. There's nothing tangible for them to hold on to. So these players are actually looking at, okay, we, we almost, now it's a case of almost, almost their syndrome right now. We almost, we almost, right? Um, yeah. And, if I tell you, I, I might not be hundred percent correct, but I'm telling you that when they beat Porto and they got um they got by and they fancied themselves to actually go to the next stage, right? So that so then now at that point they're like, okay, we have our eyes are set on they split the priority in my opinion. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, yo, focus on the Premier League because the Premier League is what would would give your players that confidence. They know reaching the final of the Champions League. It's just reaching the final of the Champions League. There's nothing more to it, even if, you know, except you win it. But if you win the Premier League, you'd have something to build on. Like, you know, we did it last yeah. season. Like Pep Guardiola tells his player, we won the seed, we won the league last season. Don't think about it. Like the way Sahalias used to tell his players, we've won the league. Don't let it get into your head. We're going to build on that. That's our stepping stone. Let's see what we can do this season. Let's improve on that this season, right? Yeah. I'm not saying Ateta is not doing that. I'm just saying that, I may I put it down mostly to the inexperience of the pre. They've not been ex they've not experienced enough of this pressure to be able to now say, okay, when we get to yeah. this point, there's this X amount of pressure that's going to come. How do we now break that? How do we live above that? Because if that's what I'm saying, if they win the league, they know at this point that when this pressure comes, this is what we'll do to actually beat this pressure and go to the next yeah. level. And this is why I wouldn't call them out of winning. Wait, wait, Mark, 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 I want to bring other people into this conversation. But before that, Arsenal are out of the also the club's World Cup after tonight. After that loss tonight, only Man City and Chelsea will be uh, going into that. So uh, talking about Chelsea, Poch FC, did you sort out your connection? You here with us? Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Yes. So, brother. What's up, with, boys? With, What's up, boys? We're good. How are you doing, Why bro? here? Why here? Uh, the, we are big fan of us now. Everybody... The Arsenal and Bayern Munich game. Bro. Arteta says uh, he's really gutted. Uh, he's got a really gutted dressing room. They're disappointed. He can't find the right words to leave them. It's the moment to stay next to the players and support because they are the ones that have taken us on this journey. So uh, do you see Arsenal ever, like, 
you know, dusting themselves up and and trying to now fight again in the Premier League, or is this going to be like a downward spiral? What I what, and your thoughts on the game too, by the way. Okay, honestly speaking, yeah, uh, this is the result I was hoping for in both games. Uh, right. If you're Even if, though, you're, if, if you're not ahead. familiar with ASU, everybody get familiar. This is. This is the proper AS. I'm the ASU chairman for today. What does ASU stand for? ASU means against supporters union. We are the we. We're, we're it's more like it's more like anti 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 supporters <laughs> union. That's, we, anti supporters union. We, that's 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 what we do. You remember when man you you remember when man you had the AIG in front? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Against is good. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what we. Yeah, I never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. It's 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 more of the West thing, West Africa. I I remember that. Yeah, too. against the good. Against the good. Against the good. Yeah, bro. in Trini, we used to say always in on goal. Yeah, because uh, you Atata, you came, you won one FA Cup, and you thought everything was ah, you know, it's beneath. I'm very happy. I'm, ve- and now they are going to go down, champion. Yeah, because if yeah. you see that that statement because, right there, the second line of that statement is not too, it's not looking good, bro. Because not, because the games they have left, ah, bro, they play they play Newcastle, they play United, they play Chelsea. I think they they play Spurs, maybe. They play Spurs. They play Spurs. Yeah, the next right. game is Spurs. The next they game play, is Spurs. They play Bournemouth. That's yeah. not going to be easy. Like they don't have easy games coming up. Yeah, yeah, but let me tell you something. Uh, not a cut here, bro. Yeah. But I think Arsenal last season, the pressure that they lost the league, I feel like the league is where they might be successful this season. Like, as much as, like, I keep telling Papi, I will never admit I want them to win the league, but I just feel like they ha- they, ha- they they could catch themselves in the league. Like, they yeah. should have never get their hopes up on UCL. That's just my opinion. It, it's if, possible. It, however, come over, but swing the season, they the full season back. All right, hang it, swing, bro. It's, Mark, it's Mark, 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 Papi, that read that day. second line for me. Read that sec that second line, right? It's it's the moment to stay next to the players and support them because they are the ones that have taken us on this journey. See, this is where for me, this is where the problem lies. This is if the players break at this point, bro, it's yeah. it's gonna it's gonna take a lot bro. to get them back, bro. Bro, and it seems go ahead, Poch. Yeah, no, you're right. You're very right. You're very there is a journey cap. You know how Arsenal fans were gonna ah, Oh yes, bro. oh yes. No, Porch, I know Porch, I pray for Bayern trending before the game. Yeah. Who? Pray for Bayern. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. the Arsenal yeah. fans were made when, were when, when they, the place. And, and they forgot Bayern, like like Mark was saying. Bayern, this is football heritage. Bayern have been here before, they've done it before. And the home Tuchel, Tuchel has done it before 100%. So he knows what to expect, you know. Arsenal lost the game at home. That honestly, Arsenal lost the tie at home when they Poch, didn't win. Poch wasn't here when I said this. I said they lost it at home, bro. They lost they, it at home, bro. Yeah, win yours at home. I was hoping they would win at home. Yeah, Papi, what I said that same game week. I said the only way Arsenal getting over Bayern is if they score four at home and they're not doing it. Yeah, I know. That. I remember you said that. I remember I say, you said and, that. And the only, that the only way because they had to make Bayern have to score four in Bayern. And I'm not saying they can't, but that would have make it hard for them. But Bayern at home, bro, the home support. Yeah, well, people don't, don't, don't realize, right? You know, you know, you know the funny thing about this. Mm. Chelsea and Arsenal are have I mean Chelsea and United are having a worse season. And either of them, one of them could still end up with a trophy this season, and Arsenal will be trophyless. Yeah, oh, that's how it is. Football that, heritage. It happened bro. last season. It happened last season. Football right, heritage. <laughs> you just say they punch football heritage, bro. That that's, bro. See, that's, that's why I keep I was pissed when 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 people were a lot of Arsenal fans were saying, Oh, we don't need the FA Cup, we don't need the League Cup, we're going bro, for the Premier League. I'm Carabao like, Yo, Cup bro, just, just get something quiet, you know? get something into these players that can make them believe that okay. 
Bro, you think, you think Man City, Man, Man City winning the um sorry Liverpool winning the League Cup? Don't you see how they are playing to see how to get yeah. something else? It's 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 some of these things you build on upon. Why yeah. do we think? Why do you think United fans are actually pissed at the moment? We won yeah. the Carabao Cup and we are not building on that. What's the problem? Because you yeah, need I mean, to have something to build on, you know. Yeah. You need so to have nothing to build on with this squad, bro. Or they keep talking in high politics and and perfect world no, theory, Mark, we bro. Are draw, we are we are not. It's I'm not comparing. trying to run. We are drawing a drawing a comparison here, bro. If you don't have anything in store in these players, they will think that okay. Um, like yeah, Piper, we are saying the other day. I think um, we're saying uh, is 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 Arsenal one one striker away from actually going over the line. Or do they change the direction of the manager, right? Now, these players are looking at themselves and said, we, we give our all, but we don't seem to go past this point. What is it? Wait, do we yeah. think Arsenal's problem is a striker problem? It's not like they are creating and missing chances, are they? No, like, we have, no, it was just a discussion myself and Papi was having the, uh, the, after the Aston Villa game and we are like, <clears> maybe are they a striker away or do they need to change direct? Because a lot of... Um, che, che was saying... Ateta out, and we just talk, just talk about it, right? It's not like we're against Ateta. I'm just saying. But looking at Yo. these players, they would say to themselves, we did the same thing last season. We pushed and pushed and pushed. We got to this point, and we, we, we broke down. Now this season again, don't forget they were in the Europa League last season. Yeah. Now this season again, we've pushed, we've pushed, and we, it feels like it's at the same point we got to last season is the same point we're breaking again. So what? And the squad has upgraded. Yes, you, know. you see that. So they start looking at the man. So they start some some the players start looking at the manager like, okay, is it that this guy has fine tuned us to his best? Yeah. You know, because because you know because you see the funny thing actually is that this and Arsenal had to change like they changed their style of play completely. Is not vibes is not a good person at all, bro. Like yes, the, la, last last season they, <laughs> they, 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 played, they played a more a quicker, you know, attacking game. Yes, yeah. They, they played more on the break. They were faster. They scored more goals this season. They are more controlled, more defensively solid. Last season they were not as defensively solid. So it's a whole style of shifts, right? Mm -hmm. But where. <sighs> You you change the style and you still does you don't win. So that's so this is these are the questions that will be cropping up creeping up into the, the the hearts of the players. Like okay, last season was this. Okay, maybe we talked as a unit and say okay, we needed more solidity in the midfield. Then we would get yeah. over the line. Right now we are we we oh my god, bro, it's still uh, down to the players, you know, bro. At the end of the Mark, day, it's, that's what me and that's what I'm to trying to say. And, and bottom and line, go, I just do agree with all the thinking that they go on. Fault or no, they have a they have a derby this weekend. They play. I'm not Tottenham. saying they're faltering. I'm so, not saying they're going no, to No, I'm falter. saying is is what I'm saying is this right? They play. They might have a dumb moment today, but to come tomorrow morning, Tottenham is who they're facing. Rivalry. You understand the London that's derby? Not gonna be, that's not going to be an easy game for them. It's not an easy game, but right it's now, one of the games that Arsenal is always gay up for. What is gay up for that where, game? Where Mark, I hear what I hear what you're is saying. It's a derby. But I think Mark, I hear what you're saying, but I think the point that we are trying to make is that whatever task Arsenal had right now just got a lot harder. That's what we are trying to say. I mean, okay. It just got a lot harder. I right? wouldn't marry that. I wouldn't yeah. marry it with and the league. Lose that Tottenham game and lose that Tottenham game, then the pressure has gone up from X2 now to like X5. Right. I, I, I get that, right? But I wouldn't oh, marry, win marry the performance in, in the cup to the league, really, because. For me, in the last couple of years, they've never been a cup team. There's always been yeah. a league. And, and in the last two seasons, what we could definitely say is there's been a league team. So my thing is, it was always... Go I Like I was always telling man them, don't get too hype on Arsenal in the UCL. The UCL, bro, when they get to the knockouts, Heritage is coming to play. Arsenal didn't have it. So they might get knocked out. But the league, they're performing well. Week in, week out. Last, last week was the first week they lose a game in a long time, bro. In yeah. the league. So, for me, playing, coming back, even though they lose, to come back to play a rival team, your rivals, your city rivals, is a game who, where who, you could get home? up for. They could get up for. And if they win, then they, that, could, that could be the boost that carry them to finishing the season on a high note. Who, who is at home in that game, actually? 
Um, I believe it's Arsenal. Arsenal is at home. Okay, Spurs is not that good away. No, Spurs at home. Fans. Spurs at home. Spurs at home. Uh, yes. Uh, and as especially after Spurs got smashed away last week, they are also going to want to come back, man. Yeah. All I'm, saying is, all I'm saying is we will be me, there. For me, Spurs might lose that game because the way no, Ange I saw Wolves this weekend. The way Ange sets up his team is the is the high line thing, and Spurs might just um Arsenal might just be able to counter. Wait, you, um, Arsenal have Wolves, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's this weekend, I think. Yeah. Everyone and on the yeah, Spurs game is Spurs at home. Uh, yeah, so it's Wolves at home uh, and then versus us. Arsenal. Right, and then Spurs Arsenal at home playing. versus Chelsea. Yep. Then Spurs uh, versus Arsenal at at Spurs' ground, and then um, yeah, then then they play Bournemouth at the Emirates, and then they come to Old Trafford. Wolves at home versus Arsenal. No, Wolves is at home, so Arsenal away. Yeah, see, Wolves they don't even need to win; they just need to park the bus and get a draw. No, oh. but Arsenal in the Premier League is a very different team to Champions League. There's just something different about them, you know. Oh, like, champion, I know. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm saying is, ASU, I'm here. I just need Arsenal to drop points. Oh, bro, bro, bro. When is when is the election for the vice presidency? Because I'm, uh, I'm about to. I'm about to sign. It's by appointment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, are you, I feel are you nominating well, yourself? Last, right thing, last, thing, last thing we should talk about too is just yeah. who was the standout player uh, players in Bayern Munich Arsenal, and then we'll transition to Real Madrid real quick. Um, in in a dead Arsenal team, I really don't. I can't think of one player that really looked like he was like performing well. I mean, Declan I Rice. Say, maybe. I would say this guy held his own today, though. What's his name? The right back for Arsenal. He held his own. Like, right. Um, yeah, White held his own today. A uh, Tomiyasu was solid too. So, and I think okay, it's more. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more of the defense, the rise, and the and the defenders. They actually, um, they held theirs today. The attackers, they didn't. Like I said, the way he set up his team such that everybody had to talk in, right? So, yeah. yeah. If you want to look for a star person for the for Arsenal today, it's got to go to the midfielders or the defenders, right? Yeah, that's 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 what I think. Though. That's what I think. But so for me, I'd All give right. it. I'll just quick point. Just Ben White between Ben White and Tommy. Ben White and Tommy. Mark, who do you say? Oh no, you were focused on the other game. You yeah, he was, was focused late. on the. I was game. focused on real game. Bro. Watch oh, any standout players for Bayern versus Arsenal. Uh, oh, for Bayern, no. did you say Bayern? No, I guess first we're just talking about the Butlers oh. FC. I guess in oh. the Arsenal squad, anybody noteworthy of mentioning? Before we we give the men of the match, because I'm sure it's gonna come from Bayern Munich. Ah uh, no, bro, man. I mean, I, they bottled it. Let's give it. Let's. <laughs> let's yes, it. yes, yes. The, the president of, of the ASU. Match, let's, let's give it to the doctor. The the doctors was holding the water bottle. <laughs> oh my god okay uh yeah i feel for me uh declan rice was good uh and like like drake said tomiyasu tomiyasu was not i was an, a little bit surprised by Jorginho being in the midfield um there didn't really, you know? i didn't really see him in the game though yeah you know he was I, I don't know thomas Partey was not involved at all and I, it means uh, like they, they, will, they will move that guy on for sure they'll move yeah, him moving on. exactly it means like that done with no party for Partey. so anyway bayern munich bayern munich standout players or anything about the bayern munich performance that you want to mention no, Rex? It, it's just uh not really though not so much i would say eric dyer was good today um What's his name? The middle. Eric Dyer is not washed, huh? <laughs> the middle, the middle, the middle, the guys in the middle. Um, Kimmich, um, who was there again? Didn't I see Musiala turning people left and right? Musiala, Goretzka, and uh, Lema yeah, was were in the middle. I think Kimmich was there. Kimmich, what the did only he play? Right I would say it is you mentioned Kimmich Kimmich was right because back. he scored the goal. Right eh? But Kimmich had a no, bad game. No, no, no. So I'm not saying because he scored the goal. I'm saying if you look at how he played right back, right. They were, yeah. they were pushing up. The, in the, bro, I watched the first half of that game. I watched the game. They were trying to, to suffocate. Um, Papi, remember when I said press the neck? They were trying to suffocate these guys. Yes. Right? Yes. There was not a lot of yes. space for Kimmich to run on the back. And 
So the 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 midfield they were they were really holding their own, right? Harry Kane yeah. made his own contribution. That's why for me the first person I called was Dyer, in my opinion, right? He he mm-hmm. made sure like this. I was surprised like Dyer that we thought was done. Do you see Dyer and the playing the high line and all of that? So yeah. there wasn't much other well, than the goal. There was that yeah. nobody saw. That's why just, he's telling man, sometimes managers be doing crazy shit. He ain't seeing it, but when it work, it does work. But you know, two children real pragmatic to away, so you know what I mean? Yeah. He real pragmatic. No, he you could tell ah. that he didn't want Arsenal to do any stupidness to his team. So the way he set yeah. his team up, like I felt like if they had gotten a goal early, they would have lost the game. Arsenal that, 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 that's the major, major key point. By the way, Box went with Guerrero, the guy on left uh, left winger, the left back, who was uh, the versatile player who's now, who was now who got the assist, mm. who crossed that ball to, um, to, to Kimmich. Um, Kimmich yeah. Yeah. And you could tell that when you say Kimmich, you could tell that ball would have easily fallen into an Arsenal player. The man just from, from deep. No way! Just from deep. Diving header. Because Kane Bro. has missed that ball. Um, the other the, the other Bayern player had missed the ball already, right? It was going straight to an Arsenal player for a control. All of a sudden, we just saw somebody with no from nowhere, you know. So, yeah. you know, so and immediately that where goal went in, I said it was for me. It was game over. It's either Arsenal comes out and try to get the goal, or it's done. Football heritage will win this one. The man knows how to do it. In a way, I feel like this. Why? No, don't hate me for this statement here, yeah, but I had to make it. Mm-hmm. Just like that, that ghost run with Kimmich make. Mm-hmm. Guess who does make them runs in United? Guess who? Guess who? Jesus Just like that, Lord. ladies and gentlemen, we had to let him go take a break to think about himself. We're talking Champions League night, Mark. <laughs> Why are you gonna bring Man United I don't know, into? I this? don't know who he's talking about, though. I have no idea who he's talking about. Did you guess, Ronald? What Mark was gonna say? Do you know who he was gonna say? Uh, I. Don't even know what he said, bro. What did he hey, say? Mark, no, he Mark, was I, saying he was I, saying that the the run that Kimmich made for the Bayern goal, right? He, that ghost run that we should guess a player at United that would have done who that. Uh, was Mark right? gonna say? Anybody in the chat? That maybe McTominay. Maybe McTominay. He was gonna say McTominay. You're right. <laughs> he was gonna either, say McTominay. Either either MG or either either MG or Sancho. Either of those two. Uh, no, Sancho uh, is Mark. not putting his head on that ball. Sancho is not coming with that flight that speed. To put his head on that ball, not Sancho. Maybe, maybe MG, but I'm thinking McTominay would be the one that would actually put his head, even if there's a there's a foot right there, he would put his head to it. The chat is thinking I was gonna say MG too. The chat <laughs> and run all smart. The chat and run all smart because it's exactly uh, what I was gonna say. MG exactly. would put his head on that ball, bro. You, you never see MG score header. Huh? I've All seen right. him score ahead, but not that type like lightning. Maybe he comes in and uses his foot, but not the head. Wherever you would have come in and do it, I hit the back of the net, I'm telling you. you seen okay, okay. He needs another All scene. Right. He needs another... We're talking okay. to, and he's bringing me All to right. MG. So I don't want to go. talk about MG now. Let me go, go, let me go. Next, On to the real game, because they the game I want. On to the real game. I'm going to... Hold on. Let me give my man of the match. I'm going to side with Box and say Guerrero was good. He And Rero Sane was also nice. I admired his game today, especially because he was injured, but still played, what, 89 minutes? Yeah, so shout out to him. Guerrero, out of nowhere, this kid... Sunday- Never is there a game where he's never injured? No, bro. To be fair. I don't this think he was injured man. today, but he was overrun today because I think according to the manager, right? He know yeah. he, 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 Sunny tends to play like 60, 65 minutes, then the other guys come on. But you know, Coman was not there, Nabri was not there, so okay. it, Sunny yeah. just had to hold the line for the guys. And and that's why the season, though. That's why you saw Guerrero actually play that much because if if Nabri was in. Guerrero would have come up in the second half. Nabri would have started. So, the, I don't think Sane just looked overrun today, like overrun today. That's why when he came out, it looked like he was limping. But I don't think he's got uh, he's got an injury right there. I just feel like he overworked himself today. Yeah, he just yeah. He just always had that, that kind of limping vibes, bro. To be fair, from Sane. Whenever you know Max I mean? takes an exam, he put Greenwood as the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just let just to let you know, bro. As much as you might say that, don't don't feel your boy in in have it. Eh? Just say, Mark, as lead you... us into the Real Madrid game, bro. Yeah, Let's not the big game, football heritage. 
Real football, we don't talk about it. Respect the best manager of all time. Respect Carlo the best manager Ancelotti. of Don Carlito. Don Respect. Carlito. Yes. The killer. Yes. From AC Milan yes. to Everton to Madrid to Chelsea, back Want to Madrid. Everywhere he goes. Killer. You what understand? is this, bro? What is this, bro? Is this that? continues. Doesn't Rudiger own Haaland? Come on now. We have Brother to... Brother man, <laughs> hey, papi, what is this? Oh. Get that off the screen, bro. Alan <laughs> actually look. Oh, my days. Another guy continued, logic, bro. Right? What are you talking about? Fine logic. Ronald. Big up, Ronald. Arsenal and Manchester <laughs> City can <laughs> hold it. <laughs> they thought well, they will well, come well, in for well, the first well, time after years on win. LOL. Bayern made them hold it. Real Madrid is the real heritage without 115 charges. Man City treble. LOL. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Ronald for that, bro. Right. So, <laughs> for me, so, for me, right? Yeah. Don't finish my intro. Okay, okay, guys. go, 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 come go, go, down, go. Come down, right? So you know, as he was going, put Rudiger there. I said one of the guys from Madrid I would certainly take is Rudiger because he was rude on the, on that defense. You know, the right amount of, you know, how did I say it? You know, dark horse movements, shadow movements. Yeah. And the right amount of quality in moments to keep the defense solid. You know what I mean? I feel like yeah. Real Madrid could have had a better game. I feel like they started to play to the hand of the game a little bit too much coming into the middle of the game, trying to get the foul now, trying to play for a foul in a way. Like, you know, but you know, the, the mm-hmm. attack and play in the first 25 minutes was light and quick and electric. It was, you know, it's always that kind of hype behind it. Vinny Jr. was on it today, and they couldn't touch him really. You know what I mean? He was taking yeah. one players all down the flank two or three at a time, and he did what he had to do. He even swap to the to the right hand side, you know, son, to provide that goal. So I feel like Madrid for the first twenty five minutes they look like the, the Madrid team that could beat anybody, no matter how good they was that day. You know what I mean? But you know the Madrid team agent they allowed City to come back in the game. You know what I mean? And City is one of those teams. Like, as much as I don't like them, they are top team in world football. And that top team, if you give them a sniff, yeah, they're coming at you. You know what I mean? And they give them a chance to get possession, and which is City City likes. Although Mi Me- Al Madrid is not a team that really likes to keep possession, City love it. And when they give them possession, they will do things with it. Maybe they did the same thing over and over too repetitively. Because in my honest opinion, yeah, it seems like Real Madrid was was pretty much defending the same moves for like twenty minutes, and then True. when they made the substitution, it changed. The patterns change a little bit with the substitution that City make. You know what I mean? And that's how the breakthrough come. But uh, when let, could let, let's let's be real with ourselves. Let's just try. Let me just draw something here. The first leg, Real Madrid had that game until they let City score those two quick goals. That and you know, well, so I, I felt like I, I felt I'll like be back, I'd be back in five bots. I sure, felt sure. like I felt like Carlo Ancelotti looked at that game and said, "Bro, guys, we had this game. We had this game. We just let it slip. So what do we do this time, right?" And that's where football heritage came into play. Get the mm. goal and see how we could frustrate them. It was a shame that Kevin De Bruyne got the goal and it was 1 1, right? But mm. I felt like Ancelotti did not now say, okay, you know what, let's chase the game and see if we could get back in the lead. Let's do what we were doing until the- we frustrated them. That's why when Mark said um, they didn't dominate the game because they were down for a long spell. So Ancelotti would have looked at them like, we frustrated them. Just maybe one mistake or one lapse in concentration, they go back. On level 10. So I said, I told them, I feel like just do continue what you're doing. Let Rodrigo and Vinny and Belly and because Belly has the energy to run back and forth. Let him do, let the three of them do the the um the, the damage in front and let's just keep it tight at the back. No more conceding, just don't let concede anymore. And that was what carried them through all the way to the penalty. And you know, penalty is no man's game. You'd have yes. to be on your and Pep made hold up, the, hold up, hold up. You skip the part when they had three attacks on goal and a bad decision is what separated them from scoring before going to penalties and finishing the game off. 
No, be, no, for me, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, allow Be Jude Bellingham. Because if you look at that play, it was Jude Bellingham, Vinicius Jr., and I think a third person that was we were screaming. Vinny, Diaz. Yeah, Vinny, you'd have played that ball one time, right? But he didn't yes. play it one time. And if you remember, um, what's his name? Jude Bellingham had his own opportunity on the other side where Papi, you were saying, no, slow down, slow down. So for me, yeah. that's what I was like, okay. I was not thinking, is this the plan here? Could this have been the plan all along, right? Just frustrate them at the front, keep your back short and just see. And they got the goal and they played nice football and it helped carry them on to the end. For me, it was a nice game, Football Heritage won. And I'm happy Man City don't have to go to the... Because if they had gone to the semi-final and played Bayern, there's a high chance that they would have won the game. Yeah, they would have murdered Bayern, bro. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, so 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 the other thing to mention too is, uh, I mean, you touched on it already, just like the inclusion. When that substitution of Doku happened, that's when you could tell that the Man City had one plan, send the ball to Doku and then something happens. Even the goal that they scored, it wasn't more or less brilliance. It was like Doku just, you know, doing the thing that he does, beating uh, Carvajal or, or, or whoever he was facing on right back and then putting a dangerous ball in and Rudiger just sort of defended it and it fell to De Bruyne's, uh, where De Bruyne was, right? And But besides that, like Mark said, it was repeat, 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 and without any real proper bite in the attacks. No you even saw guys game. like Akanji taking shots from horrible positions. You're just wondering. And you saw Pep Guardiola, you know, frustrated. Look at this, 33 shots that they took. All those 33 mean nothing. Look at the positions that they took the shots from. And and with 67% possession of the ball, it's just one of those things, again, where ju that just makes you wonder, really, is possession football overrated, you know? No, I mean, it, 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 dep it all depends, eh, Papi, because it had teams that will hold possession and be effective. You know, Barcelona a few years ago was that kind of team, you know what I mean? But it's a tough football to play and... It is demanding on the football IQ because, like I was saying earlier, you repeat, you rinse and repeat, right? Look at, okay, I think Jack Grealish, I don't rate him that much, but I still think he's better than Doku, right? But hmm. what he was he doing is the same thing over and over, over and over. He didn't, change, he didn't try to cut in and run to the box, nothing. He just keep going down the flank, looking for that pass, same thing over and over. And for me... Now, while I like the, the base, the base, the home note of, of, of teams like Madrid and teams like City, because the home note, when they, they resort to default, they skip yeah. the ball, right? Yeah. This is my problem with our team. When we when we home note, we don't re resort to keeping the ball. We just start to play hot potato. And now, we really and truly... It has certain players in the team whose responsibility is to carry the ball the most of the game. And if you look at City, right, Doku, Jack Grealish, Foden, these yeah. men, then, Alvarez when he came on the field, is their job, De Bruyne for the first half, right? But yeah. like I've been saying, City weaken themselves. And as much as I hate them, you know, you always want to play the best because you want to brag about beating the best. The best team that, that any team could fill. So, for me, City kind of do the self injustice and nobody wants to admit it because they caught up with the fact that they win a treble. But the biggest reason City win that treble is Gondogan and Mares. We're Gondogan and Mares. Who's the replacements? None of them fellas scoring in at the rate of them two men. So, City is always going to struggle this season to win, to get over the line. Sure, they will win some certain teams because they're custom beating them. It's like United. Usually, we're supposed to be beating Bournemouth and thing, but this team that we, but the team, you know, is mentality. And when you're used to yeah. beating a team, just going to face the team, you know, you beat them already, bro. I have the battle, you understand what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the problem is with Man City, they don't have that against Real, you understand? So it's always yeah. going to be an even game. And Real Madrid this season, they strengthen the side, they strengthen the team much more than this, there was last season. So, the yeah. margins last season between the two teams was fine, and Man City edged them. But this season, they don't have those players to get our edge. So, I was always thinking, 
So who do, who does not have the players? Man City, you say? No, well, let me be real. They don't have a deep, they don't have Gundogan and they do have Mares. So whether or not they had Haaland no, last Cancelo. season, okay, okay, I get it. Forget Cancelo for the moment because he was on loan most of last season, right? Yeah. So I mentioned yeah. Cancelo, but Mares and Gundogan is two men that contribute Game together changes. thirty-five goals and about eighteen assists, right? Yeah. So that impact is is the difference with them winning against our Madrid tonight. You know, the difference with them winning, lifting three cups and lifting no cups, really and truly. Because everybody hype City back top of the league. In two weeks, City could be could be back in third place. Let's 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 hear Ronald's analysis of the game too, bro. Ronald, you you hear, brother? Let's Man City couldn't get it over the line. They couldn't get it up. Yeah, I mean, uh, Man City couldn't get it over the line. Like I, I would say, Marcus is, is about right, uh, but at the same time, Man City had a lot of players, young ones inexperienced ones working up against the experienced ones because real madrid has nothing but heritage they're they're, they're they have young players in there but they're either too young or you know there's no between and the ones who are in between like Valverde and all of those guys they played the 120 so you can see how their team is set up because they were just taking in the punches just taking in the pressure defensive line defense there was no attack after the first goal went in and they were like, yeah, cool. No problem. Now let's just sit back and relax. Mm -hmm. And it's just a masterclass. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy for how it actually ended. Uh, is the season ended for city? Obviously not because Chelsea, uh, hopefully they lose to Chelsea, yes. but, uh, yeah, because I would like to actually end the FA Cup on Nicholas Jackson versus, uh, uh, like, you know, Holland. I would like to see that. Oh, oh, we'll be there for that one. <laughs> exactly. That's what I want to see. About that but, but today, Real Madrid actually showed, because I, I'll be honest, at least 10 times I thought that, bro, their legs are gone. Any minute they're conceding a goal. But... It's just Real Madrid. Like I, I would agree with Mark. The, the 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 thing he's talking about, like the bully effect. Like once you've been bullied by someone, you always fear them, right? Unless you actually bully them back. And even last season, they like City did not bully them back. It was just a win. It was not a bull bullying. Like these guys always bully them. And yeah. For Arsenal, I have nothing to say, bro. Like, hold it. Like, you thought you got to come back after fucking 10 years and do something? No, you're not. Monetization. But what I would give them the credit for is it's not as bad as 10 2. So, yeah. next season, they have something to build on. Is Arteta going to be in the job? I don't know because I'm seeing on my timeline on Twitter it's Arteta out. Every person who is, like, you know, just like us who talks about football. Everyone's saying Arteta needs to go. But a lot of people would tell you over here with their, you know, whiteboards that Arteta is a better manager than Eric Ten Hag. So, Somebody that's what it is. <laughs> people are just being reactionary, though. If Arteta goes, who are they bringing in? Ten Hag. Like, you know? Do you ask no? Fans, fans, fans I'm going to tell you something, tell you like something right now on here now, right? Men want Ten Hag out, but uh, I will tell men no. Anytime. Liverpool do get a manager before we do that? Or Arsenal looking to sack? Bro, you don't want to see that eh? because I tell him, man, bro. That man get his hands on a team that suit that system is problems in this league. Problems. But okay. <laughs> Mark, we're getting to it though. Let's, uh, let's see it first. Bro, let me tell you so I forget I, you's a Chelsea fan, you know, bro. No, I hear, I hear you. I but forget you's a Chelsea fan, you know, because he's a homie. But let me tell you something, bro. The referee yeah. saved you, right, midweek? The referee saved you twice. What about that? I'm just Because it was all the game I'm after we take the lead. Like, and I'm just saying, the next time we play here, bro, you will get a smash in, bro. We have it in for you. Just remember, I tell you that. Mark, this is not about even that. All I'm saying is, Tag might be good, but but 
like we haven't <laughs> seen what you're saying. You're saying like if he finds a squad that suits it, it's gonna. Be I saw it at Ajax before he come to United. All right, all right. Enough. Ten Hag didn't play tonight. Ten Hag didn't. Let's talk about the guy who's been Don Carlos. Okay, Pep Guardiola. Ah. Like, like, bro, guys, guys, Guardiola. <laughs> what's? How do you even put this? It feels like. First of all, first of all, um, um, there was a game plan that Drex called out, especially at the beginning of the uh, extra time, like yeah. first half of extra time. You could see there was a strategy, but then eventually, like it, it sort of fit, dwindled away. Like they, it didn't feel like they were believing in the game plan, or maybe it, it could be personnel as well, because obviously by that time, whatever Haaland was not there. Then I see, I see. Um, uh, uh, Manchester City starting to cross the ball when Haaland is off the pitch. You're like, what? What is this? You know? I, I just have a mad speculation in mind, uh, but I don't know. Uh, it's just a conspiracy theory in my mind, but I just want to voice it out. I think what Bernardo Silva, uh, Bernardo Silva actually deliberately took that pen in the way he took. One, that's not his style of pen that he takes, right? Second. Uh, <sighs> It's like if if you don't because obviously he wants to go to Barcelona, and this ball ball guy would not let him go. So he's like, I either I do something that makes him let me go, Ooh. or you may be onto a crazy theory. But I think Bernardo Silva wanted to win it. Really, you think like he? You he, know when I uh, say earlier, uh, Portuguese players is really miss penalties. Men laugh at me when he miss. When I see he kick that ball down the middle. I tell myself the same thing Ronald say. This man threw away the game. And I didn't say it out loud because you know what? I didn't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist. Because to be fair, bro, I never see Bernardo Silva kick a penalty down the middle. And let me tell you something. I watch Portugal. I don't miss a game. I might, I might not see all the City games, but I know he's kicked most of his penalties for Portugal that he gets. And bruv, don't miss, bro. And he just always go to a corner or top bins. Either corner or top bins. Never yeah. see him kick down the middle. No, but Maybe kicking down the middle something. is a psychological thing, though. Like, it's it one of those, you know, the goalkeeper. You're counting on the goalkeeper to 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 dive, you know. And it, it wasn't a panenka, but it was more like, I'm just going to hit it and make sure that like as as long as he moves out the way and and it wasn't the first penalty that's the other thing it was like you know because there's a little bit of a psychology to penalties we've all like seen how sometimes it's like oh if most players are going to the left then at some point somebody has to choose the right but who is that and what is that point when that's going to happen you know it's a psychology game as well you know we were talking about this, Mark, during the game when I was mentioning the top 10 penalty, whatever, merchants and, and stuff like that. And you you said there's four places where you can place a penalty when you're taking it, you know. And 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 the other thing is, like, it all boils down to, as I said, psychology. And Bernardo was counting on 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 uh, uh, Lunin to dive, but Lunin did not. And, take, and it backfired. My take on that was more, um, I think it was more for poor execution. Maybe he wanted to go to his right, which is the new left footer player, distract the ball to the right. And yeah, before you already saw the keeper body's movement, like the keeper is actually maybe thinking of going to that position. Maybe the keeper faded him. But it was yeah. just a wrong execution. It was a very poor execution from him. Poor. Maybe he think out too much. The last minute, he was like, you know what? This guy's going to fade me. Let me just go down the middle. And it was a very poor, poor execution. Like, but you know, you know, Drex, you know, Drex, we don't talk about goalkeepers, right? And I wanted to mention this because David De Gea is that type of keeper as well. And he and Lunin tonight remind me of that. And the sense of nah, it nah, has some no 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, and let me talk because I ain't cut you in your talk, no time you was talking. Right. Oh, so okay. as I was going to say. When when David De Gea was a safe penalties, he's wait for the kick, the kicker to kick before he dive because he have a good reflex, right? Lunen have good reflexes as well. I noticed that from the way he was safe and hunting. So some goalkeepers who have good reflexes, they don't dive first. They don't pick a corner and dive. They just dive when the ball kick because they know they could get to each corner quickly, quicker than most. Like Onana have to pick a corner. He's not that keeper. 
if you understand the difference, what I'm trying to say. Mark, it's not quite clear for me. What I'm trying to say is that it have techniques, for, it have different type of techniques for goalkeeping penalties. Some goalkeepers. So your point is, Onana is is what like Onana uh, is not the uh, the most agile goalkeeper. So he therefore he has to pick a corner and dive, right? And Lumen, how does that Lumen compare? Is on, the, on the agile bracket, agile goalkeepers could could dive after the shot was taken because they could get to either right. corner quickly. Okay, let's hear Ronald. What are you saying on the penalty moment and or in response to what Mark, Mark, what Mark said? I don't know. Uh, I, I, Mark can say whatever he wants to say at this point. But uh, I, I absolutely love David De Gea myself, but uh, I would not compare him to Lunen. Lunen was top class today, bro. He he was a lot better than David De Gea at pens because I've seen David De Gea concede 11 pens, concede 10 pens, yeah. right? And, and that's one game. I'm not even talking about 10 years. I'm talking about one game he conceded 10 pens. And Lunen, the way he was con like, composing himself at a, at a young age that he is, he's absolutely top class, bro. Like, uh, can't lie, he's absolutely top class. I, I would take Ronald, day. respond to Box's comment as well, by the way. You see it? Modric missed. Modric angrily kicked the ball into the crowd. City fans were celebrating and kept the ball in the crowd. Silva was made to wait 30 seconds before he took his kick until the ball returned. That maybe might have had an impact. Do you think or no? no or is... not, not really. Like that, that's there's no like negative impact on him waiting because, anyways, they were like one nil up, right? So and it's their crowd. It's not even the rivals, right? It's their fans who kept the ball. Besides, everybody exactly. Is the goalkeeper so, is also waiting. Everyone's waiting. Even the refs waiting. Like a ref, ref is the one who should be rattled because now he needs to arrange a new ball. So he's looking everywhere, you know, which ball do we take now? So I don't know. I, I, I just feel See, there was a there was one, I just feel there was I just feel there was one Madrid fan in there who did some judge and gave the ball back and it was like, yeah, pack pack for them me, up. For me, when you say I, I, when you say everybody was waiting, right? When you say everybody was waiting, it doesn't yeah. really affect um the player. I, I, I beg to differ because Silva might not be the player with the strong suit, the goalkeeper might be. The goalkeeper might just be like, you know what? Anything that happens, this is the guy that's going to take it. I'm not under pressure. He would def for for most goalkeeper, a penalty is already for when they stand to the face a the penalty, they know they've considered the goal. They know that ball is going to go. So now it's to make sure that that thing in their head don't stand. Like for what Mark was trying to say, there are some goalkeepers that wait when you kick, they move, right? And yeah. those goalkeepers actually they believe in their ability to act because they know they could get to the each side of the post in 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 time. But it's as as long as the penalty keeps going, as far as the penalty keeps going on, now they they tend to tinker a little bit, which we saw in the in the goalkeeper's case for for Real Madrid because he was making the right call because he was waiting. The first ball he didn't really wait, but every other ball he waited until uh, I think the last two kicks, right, where he was trying to read, he was trying to not go ahead of them, right. For me, Bernardo Silva's penalty could come. Could be a factor of maybe the fact that he had to stay there for a while. He could maybe um, it's poor execution, like it's I said earlier. Yeah, it's gonna uh, affect you because one I, penalty whether you, whether you believe bro. whether you believe it or not, right? There, Mark. It's not a case of you. You might be. You might have scored ten penalty prior to today, right? Yeah. But every penalty has its different occasion. It's a different occasion, bro. It's, mm. it's you are in front of your fans, you are in but front of your fans. But it's still a pressure situation, so I feel bro, like I you know. deliver it better than no, most. Mark, Mark, see, it's you're in front of your fans, right? You, you, you're the other guy just lost, or something like that. Yeah, the other guy just lost. Now it's the pressure is on you to take advantage of that guy's mistake because yeah. you, so the pressure is on you, especially when you your, your average scored. Modric lost. Now it's you. Now it's next to you for it's left for you to take advantage of that person's bro, mistake. Bro, Mandem is not twelve, bro. He's not eighteen. He's no, not Mark. Mark, you don't it's like this. 
Look, listen. Bro, let me, bro, let me, this is a professional who's been in this moment. So why did they lose the ball in the first place? Time. Why well, did they not lose happen, the ball? Bro. It is happening, bro. It is happening. I'm trying to tell you. It has no psychology behind Mark, it. Mark, forget. Miss. Mark, don't, I keep telling you, your, your take is not the gospel, bro. I'm not saying it's the gospel. So but then, it, when somebody's but, talking, but, but calm not, down. Calm down. Are we micromanaging it, bro? Like, we're going into all different Yes, let us Let us micromanage everything we want to micromanage, bro. Don't be interjecting all the time and thinking your way of thought is I never take way. my way right bro. But then but stop just it saying, bro. bro you just say, you're getting you on just saying off a one penalty if he if in the last 10 he I am one, giving you reasons one I... penalty his mentality not good that mad bro that crazy bro I just say Mark no, I'm, I'm, Mark okay, where did I say his mentality is not good you Mark, did not listen, say that. Learn to listen pull back the pull back the stream I did not say his mentality. Could that, I said, could that have we affected him? From this point. Anyway, man is waiting for the ball. 30 seconds, point. whatever the, the time was. Man is waiting for the ball. Could that have affected him? Could that could could the fact that the goalkeeper is even intimidating him affect him? All of these factors don't make it sound like what happened. What happened in in, in um. In South Africa should be the same thing that's gonna happen in, in the United Kingdom. Don't say that. It's a different occasion. Don't be making it look like, oh, um, because he's professional um and he made a mistake, we can't actually look at all factors variable. Not saying yeah. no about it, you just basically highlight his mentality as an issue. I, I am not saying, highlighting his you, I just you just saying, bro. You just came he, up with a crazy bro, theory saying, saying you feel you like he lost he in the that situation because he wants to get out times, of the club. If I said that, that would have been successful. He has a strong mentality. Mark, that has Mark, as a Mark, sample Mark, size. Bro. Mark, Mark, That's all I say to you, bro. Don't but okay, cool. Time. No problem, bro. If you disagree, yeah. cool. I just say to you, my point, my perspective on it, if you have more sample size of being successful in a pressure right situation, then maybe it's not that. Maybe so because, just miss. Because, so because can I, you... Can I, can I, can I... No, pause. Let me just land this point. So because you've been getting something right all the time, then the minute you fail, we shouldn't look at the fact that maybe pressure got to you this one that, time. I mean... I just, I'm saying, I just wouldn't no, say his saying, mentality about, is a problem. About, I'm not talking and that about is basically his mentality. Saying his mentality a pressure, is a the man might have succumbed to pressure does not mean the man is not a mentality monster. That's two different things. I'm saying... Could it be? I actually said earlier and said it was a poor execution. It was. So I just say, Mark, Mark, you. Mark, let 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 you let Drex talk and then Posh talk and then and then I'll and then we'll move on to the next point. Box, I'm not saying everyone cannot miss a penalty. I'm just trying. First of all, I said that guy's penalty was a poor execution from his part, and he's allowed. It's a mistake that he made. Modric made a poor. Did a play poor. um, Kovacic was brought in for penalty kick and played one of the worst penalty in, in the game today. One of the worst one. Yeah. So I'm I'm just trying to say for for we say Bernardo Silva is top notch when it comes to penalty. Could something has affected him today? You guys made a crazy an assumption or theory that maybe because he wants to leave or something like that. But I'm saying I'm coming to my own theory. All of a sudden, my theory is now like, oh, it's garbage because I'm saying. Could there be a reason why this guy actually lost that? Because his execution was poor. We all agree that that's not where Bernardo Silva normally plays his penalty to. Maybe. You know, nobody say it here. was garbage. And that's the whole point. Nobody that never say that. That's what you are saying. Bro, that's not what I say. All I'm saying to you is... Let Drex talk right bro. now. And then... All I'm go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Maybe, go ahead. Is maybe, maybe, bro, is that it's, it's, just, it's then, not his then, mentality. That is an issue. So maybe you know he he, he put How do you know shot, that? like you said before, but it may not be his mentality that is the problem. If you understand what I'm saying, if you say he got intimidated or he had to wait, so that put him off. That is our mentality. That focusing on his <clears throat> mental state because it's your uh, focus. At this, if at if, if I can, if off. I can speak. Uh, can I? Can oh, uh, yeah. Before you go, Poch, I think uh, I just want to put this out there that yeah what i said was actually a joke you know a speculation no, 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 conspiracy I'm not, Ronald, but I'm not, I'm Drex, what you're it. saying is actually right because a lot of players do get thrown off by just you know a, a football like a goalkeeper putting legs on the you know penalty spot they just move the grass or create a hole 
and that moves them, right? So yes, he was focused. There is a proper thing that his mind just went left, right, the where the ball is. What am I doing now? He rushed himself into it. He made the wrong decision. There, there are so many things that 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 can actually be true, and and one of what you're saying can also be true. Yeah, because sorry, having, sorry, having having just like me, me that right. John yeah. Terry against United, the last kick of the of the game, John Terry already knew for sure that. That ball was going to go and end up in the back of the net, and, and yeah. Van der Sar would, and Van der Sar would have, Van wouldn't have saved it. So, could you can you now tell me that overconfident? Can I now say that over? He was too confident to the fact that he forgot. He, he maybe he just made a slight mistake of maybe not positioning his foot properly because in his mind maybe he's already celebrating the win before he even kicked the ball. So these are the few, yeah. these are the minor things I'm trying to say here. Like this guy is top notch when it comes to penalty, but. Could it be something, the timing, the, 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 the delay, the fact that he has to um, score that goal because he has to take advantage of that, of that situation? So, so, this, is, so this, is, this is why I want to offer uh, uh, just also another thought. Have, have you guys heard uh, Emmy Martinez talk about his... I'm, like, I'm glad you brought that up. I was going to go ahead, bro. Go because, ahead. Because I don't know if you... Papi, yeah, like... So he was talking about his the World Cup, right? The penalties. Yes. And he had this strategy, and apparently, I think he had spoken to his psychologist, and like he he has this whole mental routine he goes through, and he was saying that if his team, um, like if he saves a penalty, that puts the pressure on the opponent that's going to pick next. Yes. So. Sorry, that puts the pressure on the goalkeeper that's going to catch next to try to also make a save. And if a goalkeeper is trying to make a save, they will always dive. So if you are on his team and he saves a penalty, he's saying that the next person that kicks should go in the, in the middle. If you go to the middle, you are going to score because the goalkeeper is likely going to dive. And I think... I think that is what might have happened here. But the goalkeeper also did his homework. You know? That's I, what Arten is also saying, that the goalkeeper has deserves some credit here. Yeah, well, but you gotta give the book because I don't think... like Bernardo Silva has seen it all, bro. Like I don't think this was a moment that was going to throw him off. I don't think him waiting around for a few more seconds was going to throw him off. He's done... He's seen it all. He's won the Champions League. He's won multiple Premier Leagues. Like he's played higher pressure penalties. I assume. Like he was part of the Portugal team that won the Euros, right? Mm -hmm. Port, like, Port, let's, let's, let, I'm not, I'm not saying but that. This I'm is not, the time. I'm not believing this guy. I'm not but this is the time. This guy, bro. All, all, all I'm saying is I'm also Rex providing another on. option that it could have been. That I'm not he belittling thought, this guy the way you guys are making it sound. I'm not belittling him at all, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm just no, no, no. I'm just, I know. I'm not saying what anybody is saying anyone. is wrong. Drake, I'm not saying what anybody is saying is wrong. All I'm saying is, it could have been that he waited. <laughs> however His long tactics was wrong. Yeah. He, he took the ball. It wasn't wrong. It was right. The goalkeeper just did well. Because if the goalkeeper had dived to either side, he would he be saying scored. he was yeah. He's yeah, genius. Scored. yeah. But guys, this is right? the time to actually be happy, rejoice, is 2020. enjoy. Why, why are we fighting? I know, I know, I know. I know. No, it's Mark just, Mark just trying to pick that I called. I am going down on his mentality. Bro, I am not. And that thing just threw me because this is one player I rate highly. If yeah. there was anybody I was going to take out of right. one, this is my first guy. So when you when you come in at me telling me I'm going down on the player's mentality, I'm like, how did I? Well, that's I'm, exactly what you're doing, bro. I just saying why I was why, why interpret. That's what you are interpreting. But I'm because telling you, it's the wrong if interpretation. If you, if you tell somebody, if you say somebody you know, had to win and that threw them off, if you say somebody was intimidated by the goalkeeper, mind you, I start off giving the goalkeeper all the credit at the beginning of my intro, talking about the performance, because I tell man the goalkeeper was not diving at shots; he was waiting until the spot was kicked. So basically, I wasn't taking no credit away from the goalkeeper. I was just saying that it's possible that that the man just missed. And while you might think that you know he had to wait long, Mark, for a penalty Mark, kick taker, Mark, 
Pavento would be more acceptable. The penalty kick is a test of many things. It's not just it's not just your precision in hitting the ball. It's not your power in hitting the ball. It's your decision making. It's also your mental strength. And that thirty seconds plus that decision he waited in his mental strength, test. bro. And, and, no, it and, is. And the I mean, DPA, bro, to be fair, bro. Let, 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 let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you. Ask Luka Modric. There is a penalty in a, a was it a World Cup in 2018 or something when Luka Modric missed in an open play and then was there to take the penalty when the during the penalty shootouts. And he talked about this. He gave in the in the in the in the uh, 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 his his interview after the game. He talked about this and saying that you can practice a penalty a thousand times, but you can never recreate match conditions. And when everybody's watching, when the cameras are on you, it's a different ball game altogether. Big players have missed penalties. Ronaldo, that you love so much, he's missed penalties, important penalties. It's just the way. Saying, that but, that was, but exactly what I said is hap- is happen. Sometimes a player. It's just miss. It it is happen, bro. But it's not because of no right. mental nothing. It's just he just miss. Because that's where okay. it is, bro. At the end of the day, it's an action, right? And when you had to take before, that action, before, bro. Before we action. dwell on this too much, I want to ask you guys in the panel, uh, everybody, even in the chat, who your man of the man man of the match is in that game. Before we talk about this, that's on the pictures right now. Good night, Stephanie. I know Stephanie is going to bed, but guys, I made a video, a ten minute video on penalty uh, kick takers, like the top ten penalty kick takers in the Premier League with the highest conversion rate. Kindly check it out. It's a shameless plug for that video. It's in the video section. But all right, man of the match. Let's go to that talking point real quick, and then we 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 talk out. Uh, the, the next fixture. Wait, how was Eden Hazard not on that penalty takers list? He does not have more than 90.9% of conversion rate, bro. Really? That was, yeah, really? that was, was two things that were being considered in that list. Is people that have taken 11, 90.9. Hazard has, does not have that conversion rate in the Premier League. So people have 90, people had 99, right? Not ninety nine. No, nine zero point nine. That's what I'm saying. So, so, so who's got the nine zero point nine? So it's Danny Ings. Don't it say, is, don't, say uh, don't say, don't say, say no more. I'm gonna watch it. Don't say, say no more. Go, yeah, there we go. Go watch. It's a, pl- it's a, it's a pl- Frank LeBeouf and uh, uh, some guy Gary Speed. I'll, I'll, I'll just end nine it right zero there. Point nine. That's crazy, bro. Nine zero, nine point, zero point nine. And they have to have taken over eleven penalties or more, you know, in the Premier League to be in that in that list. I'm sure go Ronaldo watch it. Go watch it and, and they support would have the. Had to play how many penalties? Huh? How many penalties? They have to have taken over eleven penalties. Oh. Okay. In the Premier League. Okay. We're, we're, yeah, yeah. So, so okay. So now let's talk man of the match for Real right. Madrid. Palmer, Palmer will be top of that list by the end of this season. Then. Yeah, he's on nine penalties right now. <laughs> nine out of nine, he's good, right? Bro, so I don't want to hear about so, Palmer for another week. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who was man of the match for Real Madrid versus? Ah, it was Cole Palmer. It was Cole Palmer. <laughs> ah, 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 it was not Mason Greenwood Junior or the goalkeeper. <laughs> Can you please lead us in this discussion for men of the match for you, brother? Can you please go? Who, which one? Who would you give which, it to? Which game? Real Madrid. Real Madrid City. Manchester City. Oh, Madrid and Manchester City. Uh... Yeah, you remember the Champions League game we were watching? Sorry, you got so deep into this tangent, bro. I don't know. No, I, I, I did not even get deep. I was just watching Twitter. But uh, oh, good, good. yeah, I was. I ignored it. Uh, okay, so. I'll actually give it to Lunen, bro. Like, for me, that guy, two saves in the last dying minutes, bro. Yeah. It's commendable. Yeah. Plus, plus, it's not easy to save, like, how many 15-plus corners in a game when your your team has just taken one in the entire 90 minutes. Yeah. So, defending, defending, defending. He's saved a lot of shots. He is definitely the man of the match, in my opinion. For Arsenal and uh, what's the other team? Uh, Bayern. Bayern. Right? Yeah, you missed that part of the conversation. Who are you going to give for men of the match for that? And then we'll go to. Uh, uh, I, I Mark. told you a guy. I, I told you a guy. I dreamed to bring to Manchester United. No, who was it? Really? People said his legs was gone. Oh. Uh, People were saying his legs were gone. No. 
the, the Amrabat situation going to happen again. And I've seen it. Oh, his, his legs were gone, no? Bro, I've seen the Amrabat situation again. Uh, Just I, say Kimmich and done now, bro. Just say Kimmich and done now, bro. I, I would say what I want. You don't have to tell me, Miss Mr. Mason Greenwood. Please. <laughs> Stay on his that, side until he's back. Thank you. Thank you. Please, so, please, yeah. let me cordial. What if, <laughs> let it. Okay, all right. Kimmich. That guy. Sorry, Ronald. Now I forgot the players that you just mentioned. You said... Uh, Kimmich, Kimmich uh, and uh, Lunen. Kimmich. And who did you say? The goalkeeper, Lunen. bro. Lunin, sorry, sorry, I did not hear the Lunin. Uh, uh, all right, let's go to Mark. Who are you giving men of the match? Real Madrid versus uh, Man City. We have already heard your other men of the match. Vinny, bro, I will give Vinny Junior because without Vinny, Vinny today, they would not have be in the game to have the penalties. I feel yeah. like that goal was more important than getting the penalties because that get them there. Without that, no, they wouldn't be there. So how do we Vinny? His performance on only say it all, but you know, I feel like that's still being harsh on Lunin, though. But I still have a gate to Vinny. Got it, got it, got it. Vinny, yeah, yeah, no, you can't argue with the Drex. Who are you going with, bro? You already know it's the goalkeeper, bro. Because I said it in the, during the, the, the watch along, I said the way he waits for them to take the penalty and make the dive. Yes, yeah. that that just put his team in there, and it was left for his teammates to combat. As long as he made those saves, the teammate were in, his team was in it. So, and if you could see when I know Kovacic, like I said earlier, played one of the worst one, right? But he timed that that because Kovacic was just hoping that this guy would just go the other way, but he timed mm. it right, and there was not a lot of um um um, um power behind the Kovacic ball. It was more like a placement, so it was pretty placement. easy for the yeah. Yeah, it was pretty easy for the. For me, it's the goalkeeper, though, because even in the game, like what Ronald said, having to face uh, face 15 corners, right, knowing that any time of the day, header might just come in and it's in the back of the net, so keep the coordination going. It's And for the, the fact that he's still young, bro, no, says it all, bro. Yeah. And, and also, by the way, let's not forget the mistake that he had in the first leg, just letting Bernardo Silva score that free kick from deep. Like that, you know, he had to, uh, uh, he came up with a very big performance when his team needed him. You're right. You're right. You're right. And and what? He's what, 25 years old from Ukraine? Uh, Poch- Kova. Huh? Kova is younger than Lunin. Yeah. Word. For a good people, I mean, 25 is young, though. 25 is young. Yeah, 25 has uh, got at I, least, what, 15, 12, 15 oh, years. Well, in in this yeah. day, no, bro. I, I just yeah. failed to understand one thing. Why was Edison taking the fifth penalty kick? Because he's a better he's, penalty kick. Apparently, kicker. he's really good. In training, Pep Guardiola has mentioned that Edison... Remember when, before Haaland came, uh, Manchester City had, used to have a penalty problem. Mares would miss penalties. Sometimes... Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, yeah, there's the other guy that I'm forgetting. It, Manchester City just didn't have a bona fide penalty take until Haaland came in. But Pep once mentioned this in a press conference that if I had it my way, sometimes Edison would take a penalty because his his success rate in training uh, is really high. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't his. <laughs> um, uh, Poch FC, who's your man of the match? R10 gave it to Kyle Walker for neutralizing Vinny. For the most part. Neutralizing Vinny when? I said for the most part. Most part when? Bro, Vinicius, Vinicius, well. You saw the goal on the right side doing damage, bro. He damaged you both see, sides of Man City defense. He had given up. He had given up, bro. Carl Walker was what had him in the pocket. Oh, for the most Walker part. was punching his leg every so time. Mark, Mark. Tell me one thing. Mm. Uh, Kyle Walker was coming off injury, right? Yeah. And Vinicius so. Jr. is not. Then never why did Kyle Walker was his fit from, went off? Fit from injury? Yeah, never mind. Peak. <laughs> Peak. <laughs> Let the watch his men of the match, bro. <laughs> why, what, who are you giving it to? I swear to God. Watch you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying I'm gonna have to give it to Lunen also, uh, yeah. but 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 uh, can I ask why did Pep think bringing Kovacic on for penalties was a good idea? Oh, that's Pep. That Pep does it. 
I think I've seen him do it three, two times because, already. But bro, you Kovacic tell me, who would have taken a better pen? Kovacic or Kevin De Bruyne? Kovacic. Coach FC can tell us. Uh, he's seen more of Kovacic than us. Kovacic, than me. I'm sorry. Kovacic doesn't know where the goal is. <laughs> Pep, um, what's his name? Um, um, I'm I a, I've watched him at Chelsea so many times. Like, he has no... Kovacic could not finish. If he could put the ball in the net, he would be one of the best midfielders of his generation. That doesn't mean he can't shoot penalties, eh, bro? But we saw it. His shooting technique in front of goal is bad. Like, the actual technique of the was the kick was bad. The moment he, he walked up, I, I knew he was going to miss. I said it earlier that he's, he was the worst of the bunch today. <laughs> but I don't know why I don't know why Pep called that made that call because I already saw that coming. Like I knew Ben um, um what's his name? The guy uh the KDB was gonna come out for either Stones or Kovatish for the penalty. Because that was that if it was gonna go to penalty, because he was looking like it was gonna go to penalty. So that was the move right there. I don't think Ben had, um KDB would have missed, I don't think, because KDB would have maybe put ease on the top bins like um Yulon Alvarez yeah. did, but but it's a preference for the manager. Maybe during the in training, Kovacic conversion rate is more is better than KDB. So who knows? I think I think mm. it's probably because KDB was tired. Like usually they like yeah, players that, who that, could be, that could be but, like he was tired. That could be it. But there's yeah, like in no world is Kovacic a better penalty taker than KDB. But Poch, you are yeah. saying that, but this guy's the one that trained with them every week, week in, week out, and they would have done this penalty drill just in case it ends up this way. And you could tell the man was making that substitution at that time for this purpose. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he had anybody else really to bring on on the bench who, like as senior players, who else did he have? He only had Nathan Ake is probably the most senior. The rest is kids. It's like the Oscar Bob, Richard yeah. Lewis, uh, Sergio Gomez. I don't even know who Sergio Gomez is. Like a left winger, 21 year old left bring, winger. Did he bring yeah. stones in the game? Who's proof? Yeah, he brought, he brought stones at the end. Stone. I hey, so big up to Pro 5, by the way. He's a Chelsea fan, legendary man. Big up to you, man. You hear? What's Yo. good, brother? What's up? Good uh, good night, everyone. Listen, bro. I sent coverages to Man City just to do that. You understand? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank That's you all the reason why I sent to Man City just to do that. You know what I mean? Yes. We got one more job. Met the lose the FA Cup final. Met the lose the Premier League. We need we need City to win the league. City it's should win the league. I want, I, no, 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 I want Liverpool to win the league though. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, no, 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 you see, if Man City win this, Man City win this league, it's gonna be bad for all football fans, bro. Because yeah, they're gonna do something you know what a with. team that I've never done before. Right now, Chelsea history is in, is in jeopardy. Man, Manchester United, that I can't stand, history is in jeopardy. I rather live, bro, I, I don't like Liverpool. Oh, I, rather, I don't like Arsenal. Yo, I like it. I like that history would be break, be broken. There's, there's gonna be a point. When United won it three times in a row, right? People yeah. have the meltdown. Someone and will come and win somebody five would in a do row. It, Don't somebody would do it. Bro. So, <laughs> no, no, no. I know. I read, I read, I read, I just I for Chelsea trying to say, trying to say what? And it might be Chelsea. That report saying it. No, no, no. no he's just, just saying, saying no, even no, if I'm they saying, do it four times now, somebody will definitely bro, come one day. the only team go and come and win it four or five in a row is United. That, that is that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. 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 To drift God, into the house in order. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, 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 yeah. We we have two Chelsea uh, fans in the in the panel. It's gonna be chaos, you know. We're, we're so, representing. We're representing. Wait, 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 wait. What do you want me to do? 
Who's your man of the match? Real Big Madrid versus Greenwood. Big up Mason Greenwood. Oh, um, Kovacic. We'll accept that. Kovacic is the man of the match. Pep and Kovacic is the man of the match, bro. Seriously. They, uh, they, they, they did a good job. Nice substitute, right? A nice miss, a nice miss. I can't complain. Right. Remember, I can't when be bringing, remember when he was bringing COVID to you? Somebody said something about now is when Perp is thinking too much. That's when he makes a flop. Yeah. Something yeah. Like no, he sabotaged himself. He's not going to sleep, sleep tonight. And also, Bernardo Silva is not going to sleep tonight. Guys, let, hit the like button if you haven't done so. Let's talk about these next uh, uh, semi finals Dortmund versus PSG. Ronald, who are you picking and why? And we're gonna pass the question around real quickly. But PSG. <laughs> why? Come on now. Because the French kid is there. Not this just is the last French season. Kid. Not just the French kid. Uh, I, I I just don't want to see Sancho winning shit. That's just me. Uh, it's an emotional oh, pick. Just... Got it. Yeah, not, it's not an emotional, emotional thing. Not, not even emotional, but on, on the flip side of things, like, uh, <coughs> if you look at, like, uh, who did these guys play? Dortmund play last. Uh, they play Atletico, Atletico uh, a yeah. team that sits back, right? And a yeah. team that sits back, they struggled to actually win against them. Mm -hmm. PSG is going to attack you. So you'll have to now sit back. You can't go gun for gun with PSG. That is just not – that's stupid. Because the only guy who's going to score from your end, who? Brand and Sabitzer were the only two ones. Mark, your O, I, E, I don't give a f You know what? Because last time I checked, you did the same with Arsenal. Where are they now? Out. So, okay. Time comes, Listen, let me you. tell you something. But PSG for let me would win. That That's just me. Right. Anyone else has a different person, opinion? No next problem. Person, next yeah, person. I want I – want, I, I want to I want to counter um I want to counter attack what he just said. You see Go Sancho. Ahead. You see if every player at Manchester United was brave like Sancho, Manchester yeah. United would, would 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 be first place. You see, it's it's, it's not it. Bro, you, um, you know Bro, you know how much I hate. You in the semi finals. There's no Man United in the semi final. Just tell us who's your <laughs> semi final pick between Dortmund and PSG. PSG. Okay, the French kid is real. Why was you disagreeing with me? No, no, no. The reason why I'm the reason why I'm saying PSG is because of this. Mbappe is thirsty for the Champions League. PSG is thirsty for the Champions League, right? Tottenham get that get the opportunity many years back, and that he, the only great thing about Tottenham, they got experienced players within that squad. You know, within within the age group in the back line. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's kind of the, the, the squad. Both squad is 50 50. One squad is good in one air, and next squad is good in the other air. Um, up, um, PSG top top three is, is faster, you know, and they, and and then we call it that number back, back line is is more experienced. So they might they might be able to angle that speed, but overall, mm -hmm. when it come to like when it come to like ball I, IQ, and Dortmund is gonna win that in the middle of the box because of because of the number eleven. You know, it's gonna, it's just gonna take like which team wanted more on that day. But yeah, based on based on like goal scoring talent, yeah. I would say I would say PSG have that. Yeah, because no, because it, because the, yeah, yeah, because because both backline are the same. Just think who's in who's in both backline for both teams. You know, those yeah. guys have experience. I as you could see, it's it's, it's the backline that make make PSG advance. We get the strikers. It's a backline that made the advance in that game, but anybody no, watch that game. That's a good point. Matt Hamels versus who? Mbappe, Bakola, and uh, Dembele. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. they, those guys are fast. Those guys are fast. Yes. Okay. What about the other? What about the other fixture? Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. Let's let's try to make it quick on on that one. Pro uh, five. Why yeah, I you? think Dortmund. I think Dortmund's gonna be. Come on, bro. It, we we know we don't we 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 know who mm -hmm. the, the, the Champions League belongs to. It's Real Madrid Champions League. Okay. They're going to win. Okay. So it's like, Harry Kane is cursed, bro. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, next person, Poch FC. Both fixtures. Talk about both fixtures. Dortmund, please, and, your picks and, why. Dortmund and Real Madrid. 
Straight up. Dortmund Why? Real Madrid. Uh, I don't know. Okay, this is personally me, but I've never really... Like, I don't... PSG, there's something about them that just feels... Like, they don't have it, you know? Like, when it matters most. That's hmm. also the same with Dortmund, but I don't know. I don't know. They, they, there's something about PSG that I feel like, when it comes down to it, the Dortmund guys will be ready to fight. I don't know if PSG has it that. Mm. You know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, good. Uh, good take. And then, like and then, Dortmund over... guys, they know they're underdogs. They're going to hustle. They will hustle. Yeah. They will fight. But PSG. Remember, this is two things. Like... It's not a one-off. Yeah. So. Yeah, bro, but 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 yeah, but, but, yeah, but, but Real Madrid is really the, is really the team to beat, bro. Like I cannot believe, like this is the first Real Madrid side. I see it here is where the strikers is like five one, maybe you know maybe like five seven. They all flipping midget. They got all these midget players going around killing niggas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <sighs> like it's, it's crazy. So you know what I mean? Crazy. So, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Good. You know, oh, so they, they, so they, they like, remedy is just different. You know what I mean? And you know what I want to happen to men talk. Well, since we're talking about football, yeah. See, you see Sunday coming next week. Sunday, not this Sunday, yeah. following Sunday. I think yeah. Chelsea could finish sixth place. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the table, it's not impossible. We are talking Champions League so far, bro. Let me get my take here because I feel like man, them forget. The fastest winger in, the, in 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 Europe right now is Karim Adeyemi, who's played for Dortmund, and he was he was injured, but he will be back this week. So yeah. by time they play PSG, he yeah, will be fit. He's dangerous, for real. Right mm-hmm. then, it's, then they have they have players like Jeremy Bino getting the best young up and coming left winger for England, playing on the under twenty one squad. Who will be in the final then, Mark? You you I say you're going to be at Dortmund life. Real Madrid final because, in my honest opinion. Dortmund first leg is at home, and PSG last time they went to Dortmund they lose, so I think it could be a heavy game where where Dortmund might beat PSG again at home, and if they was to score multiple goals, it might be long, because then if Dortmund leading with a couple goals they could go and sit back, and counter. Wow. Like honestly, and if it wasn't this red card, Barca should be kicking. Barca should have kicked out PSG. Facts. If not for the, I keep telling Papi that, bro. Everybody hyping PSG, and That's I true. don't understand why. A and, red and, card is the only reason yeah. Mbappe scored a goal in that game because he That's couldn't true. do That's nothing before the red card. So with the and, and guess, against him, he was not performing. Well, guess what? Guess what? He was there when his team needed him. A goal is a oh, goal. Yeah, yeah, for sure. ten men for sure That's against like, ten men. Like nobody would disrespect that. I'm just saying. You know, like personally, this season I don't really rate Barca that much. And if it took a red card for PSG to, be, hey. to defeat Barca, you know, double double could tell the two team I hate. Double double could tell the two team I hate on the planet: Manchester United and Barcelona. Hey, I, I was right. so against. Just like that, we lost him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> does, does, does he know he's on a United channel? Where is he? Uh, he knows. Let's hear your picks for the final drink. What, what are you saying, brother? First of all, first of all Dortmund have, in the last five games, Dortmund have not won at PSG. And um, PSG has only lost once in the last five meetings with Dortmund, once at Dortmund, right? So, um, the last game they played, Max said Dortmund beat PSG. It was fallacy. It was a 1-1 draw, right, at Dortmund home. Oh, so it's, a draw? Yeah, it was 1-1 draw in the group stage. The same group they were in with um, Newcastle oh. and the other guy, and Milan. It was a 1-1 Milan, draw. the group of death, yeah. Group. yeah it was yeah, a 1-1 yeah. draw, and... Um, when they got to PSG, I think they played at PSG at first, and it was a two new PSG and a one one Dortmund at Dortmund. Having said all of that, I feel like since Dortmund are gonna be home, PSG are going to want to play very careful, right? Catch them on the break. See, mm-hmm. Dortmund should thank the stars that Morata has been used for a lot of laundry this time around. 
because in the first half Morata had the chance to put to give them the lead he missed in the second half De Paul had the chance to actually pull one back in miss so I don't think that would be the case of PSG. Did you see that boy they called back Kola? What's his name? The young 19 or, 19 or 20 year that keeps working down um, Barcelona's league. I know um, a lot has been said about Adeyemi, but um, these guys, they have their own. Zavin Simons is also there. So they have their own players that they could put on and they could do something. I feel like it's going to be PSG. And um, yeah, football heritage, I feel like it's going to be PSG. And yes, Bayern, football heritage. I'm not talking PSG about PSG. Bayern, not PSG. I'm not Madrid. talking about PSG. I'm saying PSG, and I know this. I, I also said there's football heritage on the other side, which I'm going to. That's why I said Bayern Munich, not Real Madrid. What the fuck? Ronald, Ronald, Ronald Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich is it? What? Uh, Mark, Mark, let Ronald respond to Drex and also tell us his picks for the final and why. Uh, my my picks are simple, bro. PSG versus uh, Real Madrid. I don't know what uh, heritage uh, Drex is talking about. Maybe a German heritage. I'm not heritage. talking maybe about Guinness. heritage. I'm not, maybe, I, say I know Guinness. people are going to say football heritage in terms of Real Madrid. That's And I'm saying on the night, Bayern, I see Bayern. You guys asked me for mine, right? Yeah, these are yours. Yes. I actually I said I know versus. people. I actually put the word heritage because I know people are going to come with the football heritage thing, right? And yeah. Real Madrid looks like they would get there, but I'm going to stick and say PSG and Bayern Munich would be in the finals. That's what I'm going to say. There's no so, more away. So, so there's no more so, away so, goal. There's no more away goal that has been cancelled. So let's just see what happens. I know so, Bayern. My, 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 I still like my my last pick uh, bots would be uh, PSG versus Real Madrid. So PSG versus Real Madrid, just like Imran Khan. Okay. I mean, I don't know um, because uh, yeah, Dortmund. I one don't want to see them in the final. I don't even think they would be there in the final because uh, if Sabitzer and uh, like because people are talking about you know that fast paced left wing or right wing whatever that guy is, but they're forgetting that PSG actually has fast paced wingers themselves and a fast paced mm. backline as well. And they have Luis Enrique Hummels Hummels up against Mbappe. I hope you know it's the same story as Rudiger up against uh, Erling Haaland. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, experience versus speed that could be a very good narrative to go with. Uh, but I still feel that PSG might actually just put in that one little extra bit of effort. Bayern and uh, Madrid that's just going to be a proper, proper football game. That's 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 where the minerals would be checked because mm. now Chuameni would be back and everyone would be back, so there's no complaints of Chuameni missing a few games or this, that, or the other. So they will have a proper, proper squad back. And uh, I think if they had injuries, most of their players would be back through injuries as well for Madrid. And yeah. uh, Bayern already has a good good squad, but Bayern is carrying uh, a curse within the team itself. So the curse is not easy. If, if oh, Bayern, we wanted to ask a question, bro. Uh, as we're closing, ask the question, and then we'll do closing uh, take statements, and then and then uh, uh, call it a night. You, yeah, what, what was your question earlier? No, yeah, I heard Drew said um some said said it's, the final is gonna be PSG versus Bayern, right? So yeah, Drex, yeah, to you, yeah, Drex. My question to you, know, Drex, is if, if those teams go to the final, who's gonna be the winner? PSG. Uh, who's gonna be the winner between Bayern Munich and PSG? Yeah. Oh, because this is a tough one now because I know Tuchel will want to stand this ground and say, I didn't win it with you guys, but you guys are here. But the masterclass, Luis Enrique will win that one. It's going to come down to, it's going to come down to tactician. Luis Enrique for me will win that one. So I would go with PSG. Mm, but, okay. All right. Because I'm even, I'm even saying if PSG and Real Madrid goes to the final, right? If you, if, let's say for all intent and purpose, PSG and Real Madrid goes to the final, I would hold on to PSG to win the final. Yeah, me too. Definitely. I would I would say PSG is going to win. Because the reason why, because um, what, every, he, he, he know Real Madrid. He, he was the manager for Barcelona. You know, he, he, he knows Spain. He know the Spain. He know the history about Spain football or whatever, <laughs> whatever they want to call it. So in that concept, 
if you lose that problem for him, but so he should not lose that. So nah, that's, that's PSG, I know, I know, PSG, I know a lot was PSG said about the red card. Beating Real Madrid with Mbappe playing for PSG, like that, that's not happening. I know a lot has been said about that. Red, a lot was said about Watch, the red card. You've seen Mbappe like, anytime he plays Real Madrid, he gets, he gets, he, he gets, gets horny. Excited. Yeah, he gets, he gets in that state. See, even with I, I, even I, I, with Araujo playing in that PS, Barcelona game, PSG will still have won. You remember, you remember what Renault did to Juventus in the final? It, uh, was it the final or semi final a couple of years ago with that bicycle kick? Mm-hmm. So people is gonna respect Mbappe, Mbappe more if he do that to the cl- to the club that he want to go to. You know, he's gonna get he's gonna he's gonna hurt them at that moment. So when he go to them, yeah, yeah, it's coming. At least when he go to them, he got experience. It's going to be difficult for them if if that do happen. So that's why I want to see that. I want to see. I want to. That's that's a dream final right there, bro. Because that's what makes football. That's a dream final. Yeah, it is, bro. That's what makes football. PSG versus Bayern Munich. In my opinion, let me let me rephrase. This is where we never win our Champions League in the history or Europa League. Man, the man just said it. That's his opinion, bro. Okay, I'm just asking. No, I'm just asking, bro. I didn't change. I didn't tell him change his opinion. I just ask. Mm -hmm. Too many questions. Okay, what, what, uh, uh, what, what what do you have to say about that, Mark? As we close, we'll go around the room one more time. Just this, just Champions League. Football heritage. That's all I go and say. Football heritage. You're not beating Real Madrid in the second leg in the Bernabeu. Not Bayern Munich. Not 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 see not man cheaty. You're not beating them this season in the Bernabeu in the second leg, bro, to go to the final. That's not happening. So if it was the other way around and Bayern and Real was playing at Bayern the second leg, yeah, might see the Bayern win. But nah. I think in it gonna be a, a Dortmund Real Madrid final because somehow I just feel Dortmund at home in the first game will be too strong for PSG to come back. Performance of PSG tonight, the other night, watching them play against a, a ten-man team. Before they was playing against ten men, they looked like they was going to lose four men. So it's just weird to see that, you know. And that is Barcelona, bro, not playing that well. And I think Dortmund this season is a better team than that Barcelona team in terms of all all performances. Mm. Let's all not right. forget them all was right. in the group of that. All right, that's that's uh, um, anything else that anybody wants to add? I'll pass it to uh, whoever yes. drinks too much, Ronald. Yeah, uh, I just wanna, yeah, go, oh, ahead. Part, go, ahead, Ronald, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no I, I'll just want to say one last thing so parts can just close on that. So please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I, I think there should be balance in the world. So, what's your ideal situation? Seeing describe the balance. The <laughs> balance is Liverpool already has Carabao Cup. Uh-huh. Give give City the league. Give give Coventry yeah. give Coventry the FA Cup. Uh-huh. And get out of here with that. Give Madrid the Champions League and Poch, let's all move Poch, on. Poch, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up. You're having a nightmare. Wake up, wake let's up. Let's all move on. Wake let's up, all move on. Wake up, wake up. 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 Wake up, can someone check this for me? When, if Coventry win the FA Cup, does it mean they get to play uh, Europa League next season? Bro, that's 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 a very valid question. It's, I still don't believe all of this report about if United go to the semi, the, the final. I don't. I still don't believe it though. Go to what final? Like if United goes to the FA Cup final, they yeah. will go for to the Europa League because no, uh, how? You have to win the thing to qualify. How that's, that's what I've known in the past, though. Bro, if City qualify for Champions League, then <laughs> the, the runners up will get the Europa League. That's how it goes. So, definitely, right. Seven Three will get it. Google.com says the winner of the FA Cup qualifies for next season's UEFA Europa League. Period. It doesn't matter whether the person is from League One. It doesn't matter where they're from. So if Coventry wins the FA Cup, Coventry wins the Europa League, they would go to Europa League. Big up Coventry in the Europa League. Big up Coventry in Europa League next season. Fire for that. 
so with che- che- um, Port FC, you don't yep. think Chelsea can actually knock these guys off? Me, I think, think we'll beat City. Me, I, I think, I think we'll beat City. Me, I think we'll beat City on Saturday. So you beat City on Saturday, then Coventry beats you guys in the in the in the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll happily give the cup to Coventry. Okay, my final take is this, right? I know, I know it's the Champions League. Oh, that's been for that. he, he, said, he said he's not even putting Man United in the conversation, but okay, Greg, go ahead. My 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 take is I'm happy. I'm happy both English team were are, are out of the thing. The noise would at least like what well, I thought when Port said let there be peace in the world, I thought it meant maybe Arsenal not qualifying and City not qualifying, but he went on another route. So for me, let there be peace in the deal. world, and the peace in the world has come. City out, Gunners out, we can have peace of mind. Then when we watch this team play, now I know my friend says they want Dortmund to go out. Maybe Dortmund coming out will be another peace in the world because United fan base will at least just let it low. Like I'm, I'm a, I'm a Chelsea, I'm a, so I like Sancho. Right, but not the way people are making it sound on, on putting it on people's face, like oh, in your face, in your face. A lot have been said about Sabisa, how the manager never wanted him. I'm like, are you guys serious? But that's aside. Final take, peace has come. Let us enjoy peace until Dortmund play again. Let us enjoy the peace. Bible says, peace I will give to you, and the peace he has given to us. Let's embrace peace. Amen. 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 Big Amen. up Drex. Big up Drex. Big up, uh, Mark. I think you said your piece too, right? I just yeah, want to say my Dortmund, last piece. Dortmund winning or losing don't affect my piece, bro. I don't care. And, <laughs> and to be fair, I just watch Dortmund play. I've seen Sancho play live three times this season in Dortmund colors, right? And I could tell yeah. you, bro. He had one or two good games I see him play. One game he had assists, and the other game he was told. The third game he was total shit. So... When people yeah. want to act like if he's doing the most, cool, big up to them. I just saying, bro, we have what we have. Let Dortmund do the thing. Whether they go to the final or not, that's Dortmund, bro. We are united. We go and win the FA Cup. We go and beat Coventry. We go play Europa football. Manager go be here. New players will come in in the squad. Youths go supplement because you see man like Ethan Whitley was on the bench. Wait for that striker. He is our prior power. There we go. Big up there. There we go. That's strong. Mark should have closed. Run out. Hey, the bar is high now. Uh, I know the <laughs> well, bar is high, gonna but all I'm going to say is that I, I hope we win. I wish we win. Yeah. But if we lose, I am going to be on the fence with this manager. With Ten Hag? close to be out. Oh, no. Because it, if you can't be Coventry... Coventry. If you can't if you can't beat Coventry with whatever squad you have of United, it sorry, my guy, you have to go. Your IQ but I'm sure he will beat. Better. But I'm sure he will beat them. And yeah. when's the game? Is it tomorrow or is it Friday? I think Sunday. Sunday? Yeah, I think it's on Sunday. It has to be tomorrow or something. unless i was mistaken hold on man united fixtures yes coventry is on sunday brother 421 sunday okay okay i have something Thank you, to do on sunday then no problem okay yeah so uh we'll, we'll be there like like we always say we'll ah run out you should have been as more confident than mark mark should have closed the street <laughs> you can you, you where's your confidence all right, all right, all right, all right. No, why, why are you lacking now? <laughs> big up, bro. Big up, Ronald. Big up, Mark. Big up, Porch FC. Big up, Pro 5 and Admiral Drex. And also big up to you, the 40 people that are tuned in right now. Guys, if you have not hit the like button, you're one of those people that like to go to weddings just for the free food. Look at yourself. Shame on you. And uh, just kindly, kindly just do that and support the channel. We know that um, if also you also want to um, support the channel with a super chat, we are monetized now. So kindly, kindly do that. And uh, yeah, let me know what you're feeling about this weekend and also about the Champions League semifinals and finals. This has been such an amazing discussion. Lots of points were raised by the guys in the panel today. Like, you know, that Dortmund P- uh, PSG, like fast pace versus experience 
uh, versus, and then the other fixture, football heritage versus uh, the Kane curse. Who do you think is going to take it? Guys, my name is Mutsona Papi. This is the Football Power Hour. I appreciate you so much for being here. And, uh, ha, man, we thought Pep Guardiola doesn't miss, but actually uh, it's Carlo Ancelotti. <laughs> this motherfucker don't miss. Football Power Hour.